Hello everyone, it's me Gemma and I'm at home and I'm not in Greece but I feel like I could be in Greece if I bake this amazing cake which is the rosemary, honey and yoghurt loaf. It's really perfect for a lovely sunny day, good picnic food so um, let's get going. Right, I'm going to start by putting my yoghurt in. So I've got a 365 grams uh, of plain yoghurt. You can use Greek yoghurt if you like, but I quite like just the tanginess of the plain. So pop that in. And then I've got 160 millilitres of olive oil, um, extra virgin, something really with a lot of flavour. I'm using unfiltered olive oil actually, which is really, really nice. So just whack that in as well. And I've got three large free range eggs. Crack those into the mixer. And then just a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then get mixing. And away we go. Right, that's all nicely combined. Didn't take very long, just a minute or so. And now we just need to put the rest of the ingredients. So I've got 310 grams of self-raising flour, which I've sifted. Pop that in. And then half a teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda. Whack that in. And then 285 grams of caster sugar in the bowl. And then the last ingredients are the ones that are going to give it all its lovely Grecian flavour. So I have got a sprig of rosemary. That's a sprig. That's a good old healthy sprig. I removed all the, the little leaves and I've chopped them up. So I'm just going to pop that in as well. Sprinkle that in there. And then a pinch of salt. Just a healthy pinch. Sprinkle that in. And the last ingredient is some freshly grated nutmeg. You could use pre-ground nutmeg, but I like grating things with my tiny little grater. I've got all my ingredients in and now I just need to mix it for about two minutes just until it's all smooth and silky and then it's ready. Right, that's had a couple of minutes. It's all together and unified and silky and smooth. And then I've prepared a loaf tin uh, this size. It's about uh, it's a two pound loaf tin, but it's about one and a half litre. And I've greased it with olive oil and then lined the, the sides and the base with baking parchment. And I'm literally just going to pour it in. Right, so that's all in there. Now I just need to bake it at 170 for about 45 minutes or until it's all cooked all the way through and if you stick a skewer in it, it comes out clean. <laughs> right, so while my cake's cooling down over there, I'm gonna make some icing, some lovely yogurt and honey icing. So I've got 375 grams of sifted icing sugar here in my bowl. And I'm gonna add to that one of these little pots of yogurt, it's 155 grams, so whack that in. I like using natural yogurt, um, just like in the cake, but if you want to use any other kind of yogurt, go nuts. And then a tablespoon of runny honey, and then using a mixer, or you could just use a whisk if you wanted, just mix that together until it's all smooth. That looks pretty good. If it, if it was too stiff, you could put a bit more honey in, or if it's too runny, put more sugar in, but I think this is pretty good. It wants to be kind of dribbly. It's dribbling everywhere, so that's great. Right, my cake's been out of the oven for about 10 minutes now, so it's still a bit warm, and that's great. I want it to be warm, because I'm going to stab it with my skewer, um, so that I can put some honey on it, and honey is all gonna soak in, it's gonna be real nice. So just grab a skewer or something pokey and stab it. And then I've got some runny honey here, which I've got sitting in a bowl of hot water just to make it a little bit more runny. And I've got a pastry bus and I'm just gonna dredge it all over. Ooh, really good. And then the last bit is that lovely icing we made. 
just drizzle all that all over the cake. That's why I've got it sitting on a board so I don't put it all over the table. And then just as a little finale, just a lovely sprig of rosemary just to make it look pretty for tea time. Ta-da! Definitely make this cake. Don't not make it. If you like this recipe and you want to see more recipes that are cool, then please check out my book out, which is up here, and you can buy it by clicking on the link, and there's 50 recipes in there, and they're all brilliant, probably, hopefully, I think they are. And if you like this video and you want to see more videos by me, then do subscribe to my channel over there. <laughs> I'm indicating it by lifting the cake aloft. Um, and tell me what you think about this video in the comments below. And I don't know if you can hear, but there are a lot of scaffolders outside my kitchen window making a right old racket, so I'm going to not eat this cake for a change. I'm going to give it to the scaffolders, so I'll see you later. Bye!